Got a busy weekend ahead and also a cloudy and rainy weekend ahead at times. So Reed's going to join us in a few minutes and tell us what we're expecting and when weather wise. But we do want to start the hour by diving right into our top story. It was one year ago today that police shot and killed Brianna Taylor in her apartment. And after that, there were months of protest in Louisville and across the country. One year later, activists say they'll be in the streets again, and they also say that they're just getting started here. To prepare for any protests this weekend, the city is blocking off some of the streets around Jefferson Square Park. You can see on your screen a map of those streets impacted. Now you can walk on these streets, but you cannot drive or park on them today. We got Rose downtown tracking what we're doing and also Rose what we're expecting this weekend. That's right, Rob. We are at the corner of 5th and Jefferson and there's barricades up here. Just down the street is Jefferson Square Park where there's going to be some events taking place later today, but all around the square, these streets are just barricaded off and they have been since yesterday morning. The National Social Justice Group Until Freedom has come back to Louisville the week ahead of the anniversary. One year later, they're renewing their calls for justice along with Taylor's family and local activists. They want the prosecution of the officers behind Taylor's death. You've seen us stand, you've seen us gather, march, protest, cry. It's crazy how long it's been. What you won't see, though, is us divide on what we want. Until Freedom and Taylor's family will hold a rally in Jefferson Square Park today to mark the anniversary. The city has worked with protest groups as well as public safety locally and in the region. The mayor says the goal of this weekend is safety. We're prepared for the full square and area to be involved for marches, whatever we want to do, whatever needs to be done. We're going to accommodate uh, First Amendment rights. What Mayor Fisher said they do not want to see is any destruction of property or injury to anyone. The city wants to work with everyone to make sure that doesn't happen. Today's rally begins at 1 o'clock in Jefferson Square Park. There's going to be a memorial and a march. And then at 4.30, the Breonna Taylor Foundation is sponsoring a meal. Rob? All right, Rose, thank you for that. 